Hello everyone and welcome back to another great super cool radio interview. I'm your host as always, Matthew Thomas. Thank you so much for tuning in. I got some great guests joining me at this time. They are a killer rock band with a very unique sound, plus they're huge supporters of a super cool radio. Please welcome my friends, New Age Premonition. Yeah! What's up? Okay. No one else went hard. All right, we're already off to a fantastic start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I know we had quite a bit to discuss. I've heard you guys are working on some new music. Yeah, you played some killer shows this year as well. But before we jump into everything about New Age Premonition, I'm going to start with a fun question I've been asking my guests this year, or this season rather. If you could have uh, dinner with any two uh, musicians, living or deceased, who would they be? As a collected? Uh, no, individual. Oh, boy. Kyle. Oh, Franz List has got to be one of them, for sure. Franz List. I have it for that, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and probably Steve Harris, bassist of Iron Maiden. Got to be my two. J um, Red. Definitely Maiden James Keenan O'Toole. We, we should be cool. Um... And, you know, <laughs> some other guy. <laughs> uh, he's strictly tool. I mean, I just, I'm bad with names. I know bands, and I'm like, that band's sick, but learning their names, well. What about you? Well, I guess mine would be Gerard Way from My Chemical Romance, and then Sinister Gates from Avenged Sevenfold. Mine would probably have to be Danny Carey from Tool, the drummer, um, or, wow, um, probably, Ar or I think his name is Arik and Prada, uh, Fever 333, they're a really, really good band, and uh, it's just an amazing drummer, so I'd probably have to say those two, big time. Those are very solid picks, I especially like The Other Guy by Jared, that was great. Thank you. Thank great you. pick. Yeah. Great, great, great choice. I thought so. He's not, he's cool. He's but, not uh, yeah, but no, Fever 333, really awesome band. Um, really cool. So I'm glad you mentioned them because I, I, I enjoy their music as well. Yeah, they're great. For for sure. I know they haven't done too much lately, I think, uh, at least this year. So I'm hoping they pick it up a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure it's probably probably some hiatus new material to the writing. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. For sure, for sure. But I'm definitely looking forward for new music from them as well. But now, focusing on my guest this time, New Age Premonition. So, as I said, you guys have played some killer shows this year. I saw you guys in Kalamazoo, I believe, back in February with Sleep Signals. And I saw you at uh, Bait, uh, Bait Spring Break. There we go. Uh, I believe that was at the beginning of June. So, for you guys, um, who are some bands you have performed with that people should check out? Um, I mean, definitely just starting from, you know, the show you've seen us at, definitely Sleep, Sleep Signals. They're a really good band. Um, I listen to a lot of their material. I really like them. They're definitely, they're a lot, they're, they're kind of bringing back what harder rock, though, seemingly to people would be dad rock. Um, I, I like that type of esque music just, just cause it, to me, it's kind of dying and, or it has been dead for some time, but they have a really good dynamic, great bands. Uh, no Resolve, I'm sure we all would agree. Um, no Resolve is a good band. Titans. Small Town Titans. Yeah. Islander. Islander. We love you. Islander. Fuck yeah. Um, Kyle, do you have any that you can think of? I, oh, man. Superbike. Yeah. Obviously, Superbike. No, that fucking suck. Uh, uh, Superbike. Love you. Love you guys. Um, Wolf Road. Wolf Road. Road. Four, Four stars. stars. Wolf, Wolf. Um, yeah. Uh, just great bands we've gotten a pleasure to play with. And, Callist. And, um, no, very Callist. Good. Callist and definitely Bostel. Heartsick. And Heartsick. Um, Living Dead Girl. I feel like you guys are just saying all the band we wow. play with. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, 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 when, you think, when you think about bands, when you think about bands that 
people should you check out. Good memory, though. You, 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 I don't want to tell people to check out uh, <laughs> Slipknot. I want them to check out bands that we play with bands that you know most people oh, probably yeah. don't know or recognize if their music was played. So. Oh, for sure. I uh, listed a bunch of great bands, uh, many of whom yeah. I've either interviewed or seen uh, live. And the rumors. <laughs> yes. 100% agree with that. They're good friends of mine. Uh, I just saw them. Too many bands in there. It is. It is. But um, about it. <laughs> Chapter one. Bands. <laughs> yes. You should get on that, Jared. <laughs> I always ask if someone else to. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's just going to smoke weed and come up with the ideas. Well, you better remember the ideas later then. <laughs> but but I, I did want to um, highlight, I, uh, everyone <laughs> says Superbike sucks. You're the second person who I've interviewed who said that. <laughs> so we love Max. We love Cody. Love AJ. They're all brilliant, man. Yeah, they may suck, but they're brilliant. <laughs> I love them so much. They're, they don't suck at all. They're the, really good. Really good at what they do. No, they, um, I, I, I think I did see. Yeah, I saw them at Bardo's place. I believe last year with Smile yeah, and Soul. Yeah. Yep. Um, so you know that they don't. For everyone who thinks who gets that impression, they don't suck. I, I, yeah. I'm fans of them at least. We love Superbike. <laughs> so. Uh, now, still focusing on like the um, the live music side. I for you guys. So I saw you as I said at the Abate Spring Break back in June. Uh, how was like I was there the you know both days. But how for you guys? How was that experience performing in North Liberty? I mean, it's pretty much the same how we play like anywhere else in Indiana. Nobody really mosh pits. It's, it's always a fun show to hear, let people, new people hear our stuff, even if they just sit down and dig it, or even if we make like an older, like an old lady walk away to her camper because it was too loud for her. I feel, I feel success in all of this. <laughs> Personally. <laughs> I, th I thought it was great because, uh, one, Charlie was, uh, does something he almost never does, which is takes his shirt off and kind of gets wild for the crowd. That was something that he never does. Uh, so he can say whatever. <laughs> but he did that and enjoyed the hell out of it. Um, it was... Uh, the guys who ran the sound, I can't remember the, the gentleman's name. Um, they are really good. It was definitely... Uh, I didn't feel like it was any less of a show than when we play, you know, where it's a little bit even more organized or there is somebody dedicated to running the sound or, you know, there's this huge event where we're playing with 10 plus bands or something. I thought it was just as fun of a show to play. And uh, everybody who was there loved the music and I, I didn't hear anything bad. Uh, I got good feedback as I was walking through the crowd after the shows. It was good to play with Charles Sweeney Ortiz. You can't not say that name, man's full name. Um, that was great. Um, and um, everybody... Uh, Alex and, and his and his band, um, everybody who who participated in that, I thought it was amazing. I had a good time. I enjoyed it. North Liberty was definitely somewhere I've not often been, but um, it was a good place. It was still a good time. Yeah, it was a very good time. Yeah. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> that, that just summed it all up. That was about. That's about all I was going to say. But, just, um, just one word. Yeah. <laughs> But no, um, I had a great time rocking out with you guys. I know Charlie, you did uh, some pull ups on the beam uh, on the um, you know wherever that uh, the uh, yeah, pavilion was. I gotta get my uh, reps in where I can, man. You know, I don't I don't really work out, but I should because I did like six pull ups. I'm not gonna lie, I watched the video and I was like six. Oh, let's let's go back. Can we try again? Yeah, I, I've had to so get hard. Oh yeah, well actually, I'm also on the wood because it's not like a bar. It's like very. There's like bird shit up there too. That's extra friction stuff. <laughs> yeah. Excuses. I was going to try to climb it like monkey bars. That would have been too much, man. That would have been a lot to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like the most about the event? Um, I think overall, I mean, uh, the bands, I thought, you know, from both days sounded really good. Like the sound, you know, for how kind of, um, 
different that uh, the pavilion is because it's like open on one side, but you have the roof up top that it's hard to dial in that sound. But they had, um, I believe, it was Josh Ortiz um, with was one of those days. I can't remember if that was Friday or Saturday, uh, but um, he he did a great job with that, and uh, it was just cool. I again always have a great time seeing you guys, so it was cool to see you guys. I know you're a late addition uh, to that event, but uh, it was great to see you guys. Awesome, man. So now I'm going to uh, interview you a little bit too throughout this. Hey, that's fine with me. I'm usually, if I'm asking a question, I either know the answer or can come up with one very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I did want to ask for you guys, since you know, folks on the, the live music side still, um, what is uh, your favorite song to perform live for each of you? Take it away. All right, all right, all right. So it's a toss up between. Fly and Spike. I feel like in Spike I get to show off a lot more than I usually do. I have a really cool bass line that I'm very proud of. And kind of the same thing with Fly. Like as far as my bass lines go, like I actually used all the range of the bass when I initially recorded the parts for Fly. Like literally open string, lowest string, all the way up to the highest fret on the highest string. I use that full range. And I'm pretty proud of that. So uh, those two would be my favorites for sure. Uh, mine would probably be uh, the end is all we've known an unreleased one just because love the love the energy love the heaviness of the song it's one of the older songs that we've had um, that throughout times just kind of changed with us as a band and figuring out our sound over the years um, love what everybody here instrumentally has done for the song and uh, their own twists and tweaks and she has a lot of high energy uh, love the the different genres as you go throughout the song um, so yeah, gotta give a shout out to Dooley for some yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, Dooley, Dooley. Yep. Mm. Kyle, or not Kyle, Charlie. Oh, me? Yeah. I hate all the songs. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. If I had to, if I had to toss it up, it'd be Breathless or Ghost Such in the Dark. Breathless because it's kind of on its uh, more beautiful side, while Ghost Such in the Dark is more on. I get to do like full screamo. Don't have to worry about what I'm belting out because screamo is a little bit easier than singing. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a break song for me <laughs> until until the end of the song. It's not really a break. It's not a break song. I don't know why it's I said not. That. <laughs> <laughs> it's not at all. I don't. I don't. But either way, man, I like both songs. I like all the songs. I hate I hate I hate none of them. I hate all of them, but love none of them. Apocalypse is actually his favorite. <laughs> oh yeah, I've gotta say. I <laughs> Oh, you love it. Oh, yeah, I love it. Sorry. <laughs> what about you, Jared? Uh, um, I just, I think I like Exile because I just play a solo at the end and everything's super fast and I like it always super fast because I get calmed down. Just intense all the time. <laughs> <laughs> calm down, Jared. <laughs> Never. <laughs> yeah, calm down. <laughs> Not in front of the kids. <laughs> Fast, always fast, always play fast. You might not play faster. Don't let me start. They can't let me start the song. Especially without the drummer. They can't let me start the song. It's a bad idea. Fifty BPM faster, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> On those nights, we're not New Age Premonition. We're Sonic Speed. Well, all right. Well, I. Place. What's up, Kitty? Place. Well. I, I'm I'm glad Jared doesn't start the song all the time. Your set your set would be a total of like six minutes at that point. We'd be a hardcore band at that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We went for all of our songs in about eight minutes. We played fourteen of them. <laughs> That's usually how it goes on stage. They were like, well, we do this every time. There's no dead space because we don't allow it. One that is true. Next, why even talk to the audience? Well, you you did have to kill time at spring break, and you invited me on the stage to talk about Super Cool Radio, so oh, there man. was that. We, did, we didn't have to it's kill true. time, but then but then Hourglass Hourglass came with uh, came back with their Kiss cover band. And yes, that, they did. Oh, baby, yeah, Kiss man. all night long. But no, it, it was cool. I think they played like Ted Nugent and quit in Kiss, and it was a great time. But. Uh, yeah. Going back to your original question you asked me, probably the point where you got, where you invited me on stage, I got to talk about Super Cool Radio. So that was probably my highlight. Hell yeah. Sweet, man. Yeah. It's everyone's time to shine. Yeah. Especially, 
very impromptu. And I was like, well, we're, I guess we're going to do it. So it worked out. It actually worked out well. So, but I appreciate the opportunity. All right. So I know we got uh, a few more things to discuss for you guys. I have heard you guys are working on some new music. Uh, can you give any like hints of like what people can expect or like where you are in the process of the new music? None. Nope. None. Well, I mean, <laughs> so like we actually, it's not released yet. And I don't know if I should mention uh, a certain videography project oh, we did the other day. No, 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 uh, you're done. No. So we started making a Just. video for one of our newer songs that is very different from our usual sound. Uh, I would describe our usual sound as like kind of pop punk, a little heavy. This song is more like funk. I actually used to describe it as like Diet Stevie Wonder a little bit. Uh, and it's so different because no, we can on, see. No, on the I gotta go random. Stevie. Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> It's, it's a lot different than our usual music because I actually was the one that started writing this one instead of Charlie, who writes basically all our other things. So as soon as we get that video done, I think we'll actually be releasing that one pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Features a killer bass line, as always, because I'm amazing. Oh, and, and some organ. Mm -hmm. so, some you know, ones interesting some things ones. to come. Things you haven't heard from us yet. So uh, just keep on the lookout for that. Yeah. Well, that sounds amazing, and I think I know the video videographer you're talking about. I think uh, yeah. <laughs> I think he's a good friend of mine. Um, so we'll see. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Uh, so, like for you guys, uh, like with the new, you know, with the the new song and you know, future new music you guys are going to be working on. Are you going to be venturing into like different kind of genres? You said you know the upcoming ones going to be funk. Are any other genres you kind of want to explore with New Age Premonition? We've also got a couple ballads in our wheelhouse. They're very, they're very soft, acoustic-y kind of stuff. Yeah, they're very jazz-driven. Yeah. If I, if I, if I just say, um, there are uh, some, there are some, there are some faster-paced yeah, ones. Some, there's some breakdowns. Some little punkier ones that have uh, some. You're kind of gonna get. You're kind of gonna get a little bit of everything. Yeah. From everybody's soul. Yeah. We're an eclectic group. You're gonna get an eclectic yeah. mix, and that's what's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> And we're keeping it all. We're keeping it mainly like about Michigan. So like we need like like there's there has not been one good Michigan album. Well, I'm not saying that other bands aren't doing it. I'm not saying that, but I mean like an album about Michigan. Like you know, I'm just, if you understand what I'm saying, like no, no one understands. I don't honestly. <laughs> just just I don't know, man. It's hard to explain. I guess. Just an right. album about Michigan, and it's a. Ability to heal anyone that's broken, drive them when they need it, point them in the right direction, live a good life. You know all the things that Michigan as a as a as a place, whether you're touring or uh, whether you've grown up, all the good things that can come from it, all the good people too along the way. I think a lot of that has to do with a lot of it will have elements of that. Yeah, all about the journey, as we all here are from are Michigan. So. The poor. Well, that was a, a great explanation. I, I totally understand um, wh what you mean. And, you know, as a person who frequents Michigan quite a bit for, you know, obviously what I do with this, and I've met quite a few people in Michigan through my podcast, I, I can understand what you mean by that, and I'm, I appreciate the explanation. That's what Charlie meant to say. Yeah. I just have a lot, and I like to heal. That's it. Nature, 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 mm -hmm. man. Right on, right on. All right, so I know Kyle, go back, Kyle. What he said just a little bit ago. So, um, who like usually? Like you said, Charlie. Does he like usually generate like the the song ideas or like the lyrics or like you know? Um, so what what does he come up with first, and you guys kind of build off of? Yeah. So often, at least how a lot of our previous music has been, Charlie will write some guitar riff usually, and then he'll bring it to us after developing it a little bit. And then we'll just slowly start adding our own things to this. And and it takes time and it evolves over that time just as we keep adding to it and adding to it. And by the end of it, it usually takes like a year to really perfect one of our songs, I would say. Uh, by the end of it, we've got a full-fledged song, but it starts with one idea that we just all collectively add to. Until I wrote this next song that's coming out. 
<laughs> that is a great way to to end that. We, we've even had ones that have uh, we've even had ones that are that kind of like just started as a jam and then just kind of grew into you know a full fledged song. Yeah, um, we have been doing a lot of jam band stuff, not half fledged. So <laughs> yeah, so, so some of them have started as just a jam, uh, kind of from there. It's just taking it home, you know, doing some homework just on it, tweaking it, it bringing it back to rehearsal again, and then just add to it and keep going. It. So some of it's been like that. Some of it's been really, really like just, you know, hardcore written head to toe. There's, there's, there's always been some kind of structure um, with those specific songs. And especially, yeah. especially with the new stuff, because there's a lot of hits coming up with a lot of the new songs. Like, like you, you can hear some gypsy jazz elements. You can hear classical elements. You can hear... Uh, you know, we're, we're gonna expect a lot from the new stuff. There's gonna be guitar in it. Yeah, yeah. There's gonna be a little bit of guitar. Yeah. We're gonna limit Jared. To it's gonna be ba mainly bass riffs because we've got him knocked the bird. Instead of going lower, he likes to go yeah. higher. So he just <laughs> play the guitar. Hey, I'm a better guitarist on bass than some guitarists are on guitar. Thank you. Well, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's me. Okay, that's, I don't that's understand. Understand. <laughs> Just like Jameson's buddy. <laughs> 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 Kyle, I, I, I could vouch, like watching you work live. I can vouch for that. Thank you, thank you. I'm proud of my style, even if it's not the most bassy of styles. <laughs> he still slap it out of boss. Oh yeah, yeah that's always. <laughs> and then, um, oh, I, I, I had another point. Maybe I'll come back to it. I had something else, uh, but I will, I will come back to that because I forgot where I was going with, with w the point I was going to make, but. Uh, for, oh, actually, okay, I know where I was going to go. So this yeah. new batch of the songs you're working on, um, is this, are we looking like an EP album or just going to be releasing singles? What's kind of like the structure you're going for? Well, it's going to, we, I really don't know how we're going to release it, but I just, we know it's going to be a full length album. Sorry about that, homie. Uh, yeah, but I, we don't really know how it's going to be released yet because we've been messing with some new people and. They might may want us to release it a certain way. So yeah. Right on, I got you. I mean <laughs> so depressing. I mean, so I'm, I'm, depressing. I'm an introvert. I don't know what to like, say. <laughs> the, well, there are some singles that will come out um, likely both of them likely before the end of the year. Um, the, the, well, the, um, the one that we've recorded a music video to will definitely be out more than likely within the month or so. And then we have another um, single that is likely to release uh, probably before the end of the year as well. And then as far as the album goes, it, there's probably what, you guys probably like six songs already? Kind of in the wheelhouse. I feel like, yeah, yeah. I feel like we got a lot right in the room. Yeah, yeah, we got, yeah, we got yeah. About so six to eight, and we're trying to probably aim about twelve. Yeah. yeah. So, and that I mean, depending on um, studio wise, you know, who we go to, whether that's recording ourselves or kind of passing it to somebody to mix and master. Um, you know, it could be in about another year, maybe, until you hear uh, any songs from it. Um, Maybe longer, maybe two years. Maybe kind of just depends on the writing maybe, process. Maybe a year and a half. Maybe an hour from now. That's yeah. what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave here and literally get one song recorded. He actually caught us right after <laughs> rehearsal too. We just we just got done rehearsing. Yeah, I was all sweaty from playing his drums. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> How did the re uh, rehearsal uh, go? It went great. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> what? what <laughs> may that's not a maybe question. It what are you talking about? First one to say something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm introvert. I don't know what the hell to say. No. <laughs> All I know is the word trash and garbage and suck. Maybe. All right. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know how to spell them. I really can't spell things much these days. If it doesn't come up with like on a label or a pop up book, I'm not really interested. And don't hand me things. Do <laughs> <laughs> don't hand you things. <laughs> Only put them to you. Only put me things to you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, this is definitely um, it's definitely been an experience. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> That's what they like say. this all the time. It's like this all the time. <laughs> oh, I, I know. I've uh, I've hung out with you guys a few times. 
never a dull moment. This is my serious face. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> All right, so. Do an interview for business. I'm a businessman. I know business things. Shut up, sorry. Yeah, nothing, but, nothing but business. All the way around. Super business. That, that, the front business in the back. That, that sounds like some, there's some on a t-shirt. I'm a businessman. I know business things. <laughs> That's me. That's Definitely. me. <laughs> nah, bro. All right. Well, I did have just a few more things before we wrap this up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I know you guys have been playing uh, quite a few different uh, venues. I know I think you guys have gone up to Detroit. You've played in the South Bend area. So what has been like um, the coolest or most unique venue uh, you guys have performed at? English Nights? I think Fairyland. I mean, that's cool and it is unique, but we've played there a couple of times. This, this last show with the English Nights was an interesting one. Oh, it was an interesting one. Where is that at? So it's not like a venue venue. So we actually played basically a, a, an anniversary party for a biker gang in Michigan called the English Knights. And first band went on and these, these bikers, uh, they started doing burnouts, drowned out the band, tons of smoke everywhere. The vice president of the motorcycle club comes and does his burnout. His tire pops, his leg catches on fire. They put him out with beer. Oh, they also uh, were show. auctioning off uh, what uh, a, big a hatchet, knife, uh, a big old Bowie knife. Yeah, it was you know just interesting. Absolutely loved the Not, music though. They they loved us. Yeah, yeah, they loved us. They want us to come back and play again. Uh, there's probably a hundred bikers there. I mean, oh, be, yeah. between two different to three different clubs, they had. Um, mm -hmm. It was in a bait, you know, uh, but it was definitely definitely unique. Uh, Unique it's place. Is in Three Rivers. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Out of all the abates, it's probably the master abate I've had to this yeah. year. <laughs> so, the the guy's leg caught on fire. Is he okay? Was he okay? Oh, he was fine. <laughs> oh, okay. He, he was. He got probably too right drunk away. to feel it. Yeah, he got up and walked right away. Like well, nothing happened. Thank you. I feel like I had to do my due diligence with uh, asking that follow-up question. <laughs> you can't just leave, oh, yeah, his leg caught on fire, just not have a not, not have an update about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, there wasn't, like, flame flame, but it was smoking for sure. Yeah. yeah. There's sandwiches, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They were, they oh, yeah, were, they smoked a whole hog. Oh, yeah. that thing was, I was so, so amazing. Good. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, they had good yeah. food, too. Yeah. Interesting yeah. show. Mm -hmm. Interesting place. Interesting experience. Well, I'm... I'm glad you guys had a great time. Everyone was okay, and you guys had got some good food and sandwiches. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It was great. Had a good time. I love it when a venue feeds us. I know. I'm just thinking right, right uh, now. Oh right. yeah, I'm about to stop and get a Popeyes chicken sandwich or something. Or maybe two. Ooh. Yeah, black. And Doris says, baby. "Baby, we'll take a poke." Yes. Man, we're falling off. <laughs> we're falling off. <laughs> we're falling off. All right. Well. I'm going to write the ship a little bit, and then we we'll close out this interview soon. Um, so kind of the last question before we talk about the future plans for New Age Premonition, uh, are there any dream venues you want to perform at that you have not yet? Intersection. Ooh, oh, that's yeah. a solid one. Intersection. Um, probably the Metro. Pierre's. Pierre's, the Metro in Chicago. Pierre's in Fort Wayne. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the top stage is sub T. Um, the, oh, ma yeah. the machine shop would be a good one in Flint. I think oh, would yeah, be a fun the one in Flint. Um, we might there. Yeah. yeah. And invite in the us because you know you're going to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do hope you guys get opportunities to play those stages. Yes. Great venues, awesome venues. I'm surprised you guys haven't uh, played Pierre's, Live, but I, I know that's true because I would have, you know, I would either would have saw it or something. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. So hopefully that does happen. Local shows, we kind of just brought it back uh, this year. Uh, most of our shows before this year have kind of been a little bit all over. We, we've decided to come back home and, and kind of have some local shows. And, um, Where Aquaman's you know, from. Just kind of be with everybody who knows us well. Um, it's definitely a lot different going out there and playing for people who don't know your music. Because, uh, you know, you're just kind of relying. Uh, you're heavily relying on your ability to be strict with what you're doing. You know, you have to be presentable. You know, there's all these different things that you, you know, you have a limit to. 
and when you're home, uh, you know, you kind of let loose. You can kind of be, you can kind of be yourself and just you kind of let it all go. Like a nope. yeah, you need to chill out. <laughs> <laughs> You need to chill out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you can turn around and wail me. I got a new tattoo, and he's scraped it like three times sitting next to me. Well, I hope that does that. What, what is the tattoo? Can you show it? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I got a just an Aztec uh, pyramid and the Aztec Olin eye. And that looks Street. sick. A lot of it. Well, no, it's the petroleum on the Aztec. Nice. They, I don't put petroleum on oh, my I arm. I don't know what you put on me. <laughs> it's aquifer. <laughs> All that petroleum that nobody well, puts on their tattoos. <laughs> well, it look it looks very cool. I like it. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Yeah. All right. So, last uh, thing before we talk about the future plans, Jared, how high are you right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just very, I'm very tall. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> All right. So the future plans for New Age Premonition. What is the rest of this year, 2023, looking like and early 2024? Well, to start out, I feel like it's going to be very transformative. Uh, that much I can say for certain. I don't know how much more we want to say as we just met with somebody, some people today, actually, that are hopefully going to transform our journey a little bit. I'm going to start playing guitar. Yeah, Jared's yeah. gonna start playing. We're, we're, gonna he, we're gonna let him have more than three notes now. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. You were not trying to have a serious interview, were you? Because like this is that. Yeah. <laughs> I told you this is my serious. I this am serious. Not. He, he's a businessman. Yeah, he knows business things. A direct question. <laughs> I look serious as fuck. Well. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, definitely. If, if, if indeed the, the people that we met with today. Uh, kind of everything pans out and it'll be definitely transformative I would say in terms of where we're going to be playing um, kind of the marketing game behind New Age Premonition the merchandising um, uh, networking in general uh, definitely music obviously uh, there's songs to come out um, more shows hopefully we don't want to play too many though because we want to focus a little bit more on writing but um yeah, I mean, main goal every year when, when playing shows and being New Age Premonition is to have as much fun as we can. You know, don't make this a job. Make this, a, you know, a fun experience mm -hmm. and a love and passion. So. No, right on. Sounds like you guys got some cool things in the works. I hope everything pans out for you guys. And I know for sure, I'd love to see you guys live again at some point, hopefully, uh, hopefully in the near future. Absolutely. Definitely, definitely, man. Just make it out. I will, hey, so it, hey, so. at some point, I definitely will, for sure. Uh, so, close out this interview. Where are the best places to find New Age Premonition online? Find, you can find us on Facebook, right? You can find us on Instagram. Um, we do have a TikTok. Uh, you can find us all over Spotify, Apple Music, every music streaming app besides SoundCloud, you can find us on. Um, I mean, everything from iTunes to Apple to Google Play to Amazon. You can find us everywhere. Our, all of our music's there. Actually, you can't find us on SoundCloud. I did uh, create a SoundCloud. Because I, I, I wanted us to try to pursue our dream of becoming like a SoundCloud rapper. Our? Well, I mean, I thought it was a collective thing. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> the seriousness flew right out the window. <laughs> Well, yeah, so those are all the places you can find us. Um, Thank you. Yeah. And then yeah. anywhere in your local area that we might be playing a show, more importantly. Yeah. To see like, us last. Like over there or something, or over there. Like yeah. over there. <laughs> some direction that Yeah, way. if you hit this doorway right yeah, here and yeah. go out that way, no, 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 you can that see way. us no, playing. He's lying to you. Don't listen to him. That's, that's not true at all. <laughs> well, there, I, I will leave some links for New Age Premonition in the description of this podcast as well. Please check out and support them. Make sure to see them live anytime you can. They always deliver a killer show. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here on Super Cool Radio. As I said, always a great time seeing you guys and hanging out with you guys. And uh, I look forward to doing it again in the near future. Thank you so much for your time, man. <laughs> Well, for all of New Age Premonition, I am your host as always, Matthew Thomas. Thank you so much for watching and listening to Super Cool Radio. And remember, stay frosty.